Pungazali hurriedly tried to untie the shackles that tied her to the boat. It is not such an easy task. Sandal sinners. They had left the rope in knot after knot. The small knife of the flower pot was lying under the boat. If at least one hand is free, take a knife and cut the bandages and burn them. But the sinners tied their wrists together and tied them tightly at the back. Pungazali bent down with great difficulty and gripped the handle of the knife with her teeth. She held the knife between her teeth and cut the rope at one place. The cuffs loosened slightly. With great effort she freed one hand from the shackles. Then cutting the ropes became a little easier. It took about a quarter of an hour to completely free myself from the shackles. At this time, footsteps were heard on the stream bank. Then a shadow appeared. It seems that one of those who tied him up is coming back. Or perhaps they've left someone behind to make sure they don't escape. When he saw him in front of her eyes, Punghuali decided to throw the knife at him and kill him and was holding the knife ready for it. But what a disappointment! Footy! Footy! Synthan Amuthan's voice was heard. The next second Amuthan's terrified face peeked out from the top of the stream bank. Punghuali inserted the knife into her waist. Amudan also looked at her. Punghuali! Are you alive? Saying that, he came running. My being alive will make it difficult for you. If you want, kill me with your own hands and leave. But where are you going to get such courage? Said Punghuali. Shiva! Shiva! What cruel words are you speaking? Why am I going to kill you? You are killing me with your words. Said Amuthan. Then why shouldn't you have come a little earlier? Do you know how much trouble I had to cut the shackles free myself? Pungazali tried to stand up while saying that. Her legs were tangled in the ropes and she stumbled and fell. Amuthan screamed and grabbed her to stop her from falling. Alas! Did the sinners tie you up like this and leave you? Your whole body is fat. He said. Are you so concerned now? Why come so early? Are you asking like that again? I saw that you were in such danger. You chased me away with go, go, and I was going. Then why did you come back? Maybe to cremate my body if I'm dead. Shiva kept the poison in his throat. You keep it in your tongue. I heard your sister-in-law say that some danger might befall you. Odo T also came and got a good reward. By this time Pungazali had come down from the boat to the stream bank. I thought I could throw this knife at you. You escaped, I stabbed my sister-in-law first and killed her with the same knife. I'm going to see the next thing. Where is that sandal? Why are you leaving me and jumping on your sister-in-law? Why are you so angry with her? Is it a crime that she told me about you? She is the one who betrayed my aunt. Did you also see her secretly talking to someone in the bush? Said Punghuali. You are wrong. Your sister-in-law, with whom she was talking secretly, or what? It is certain that she did not betray your aunt. Those who took your aunt by force tied her to a tree and left. They beat her on the head and left. What fun! Can't you believe it? She has deceived you. Well, why did you come back, and where did you see your sister-in-law tell me all in detail? Punguzali asked excitedly. Synthane Muthan explained the same in detail. He was on the road to Tanjavur. He was going with no hesitation to part with Bungazali. Then I heard some shouts and screams from the nearby forest. The sound of many people walking hurriedly was also heard. Synthane Muthan hid behind a tree on the side of the road. Seven or eight soldiers with spears in hand came walking through the jungle and entered Rajapat. There seemed to be a girl among them. When there was some distance between the people, the one in the middle appeared like Punghwali's aunt. Synthane Muthan thought that she could not be his aunt, it was his delusion. Even after the group of warriors had left, a girl's cry was heard from within the forest. Sendane Muthan first said what is the fuss? Shall we go our separate ways? He thought that. But the mind did not listen. Seeing who was screaming, he went towards the direction of the cry 
thinking that if he could help in any way he could. There he found Rakamal tied to a tree. Blood was pouring from her head and her whole face was disfigured. It was scary to get close to the elixir. He strengthened his mind and untied the shackles. While unwrapping who did this crime? Why did they do it? Who is the man who came on the road just before? It was as if a girl had gone among them. Who is she? He asked that. Yes, brother, they are going to tie up your grandmother and drag her away. I tried to prevent it. That's why they beat me like this and left me. Your uncle's daughter and great-grandmother were going by boat. Puriyama was dragged from the boat. I don't know what happened to Punghuali, run away, she said. Sendan Amuthan was startled and set off in search of Pungujali. At that time Rakamal said, Wait a minute brother. Where did Punghuali and the mute go on the boat? Did you know? Why did they leave you? Where did you go alone? she asked. Sinthan Amuthan didn't like what she asked, mainly dumb devil. He said I will tell you everything later and ran towards the canal. He came with the fear that those men would have beaten up Pungakali too, and perhaps even killed him. He was relieved to see that Pungajali was alive and unharmed. After telling these details, he said, Pungajali. What are you saying now? Wasn't it wrong for you to be angry with your sister-in-law? Sinthan Amuthan asked. If you hear me say it, it seems so. Where did you leave her? Let's go and see, come. Said Punghuali. What's certain she'll be there? If she's not there, she'll be in the neighborhood. If not, she'll come looking for us. Amuta. Didn't my sister-in-law ask where my aunt and I boarded the boat and left? Yes, she asked. You didn't answer that? Are you sure? Sure. When she said dumb devil I was so disgusted I came without replying. Don't say any more nice words. Why does she want to know where we left? There must be some reason, mustn't there be? Amuda. It cannot be said that those who took my aunt were not related to my sister-in-law. They found out through her, and when their work was done, they beat her. She might have tied it up and left. Even if not, the sister-in-law must have followed us with some other sinister motive. So be careful with her. Don't trust her completely. Punguzali. Didn't you say that your brother will remain mute in the presence of your sister-in-law? So will I, speak whatever you need to speak. Hearing this Punghuali laughed. Your laughter is pleasant to my ears. It is as sweet as Tyrana Fukarasar's Devar Padhigam. Said Amuthan. I have laughed at something wrong, do not be deceived by it. My soul burns hot, and my breast burns about fire. There is no better remedy than the flood of God's mercy to quench the thirst of the heart. Sentin Amuthan said. 